You guys know that my supercharged Camaro recently made over 700 wheel horsepower, but my tuner made one suggestion to increase the power. Now he suggested that I go with an aftermarket cold air intake to ensure that I can push as much air through the stock throttle body as possible. He said I could pick up around 50 wheel horsepower if I did this, because the stock intake is very restrictive. So instead of running the stock air box, we're gonna be installing a Rotafab cold air intake, as you can see right there. But first we need to clean out this air filter. It is super filthy and I've got some compressed air for it. First thing that we're gonna do here before we install this awesome new filter, it's the Rotafab something something. It's not the big gulp. The big goal is for LT4 application. Long story short, I accidentally bought the NA version, but I found out that it'll work with my LT4 intake. So we don't have to worry about that. We're still gonna get some power gains here, but let's hit it with a duster because this thing is nasty. You can see between like the grates and stuff, there's a whole bunch of garbage in there. Ew. Now ideally compressed air would probably work best for this. You know, not like that crappy little duster having a full machine, but I don't have one. But this will do the job anyways. We'll get it on there. And then I need to transfer over my MAF sensor. See that right there? to the new intake and I'll start the car and see if it winds with the open intake. I doubt it though and I still need a new alternator in this car because I completely blew it up on the dyno. So this thing hasn't been running for a few days. If I hook it up to the battery tender though, like right there, then it's fine. It can run because the battery will hold its voltage. Otherwise though, it doesn't run until I get that new alternator. Next thing I'm gonna do here for the cold air intake install is remove both of the torch spits that hold the mass sensor in. So it should be pretty simple. I don't want to drop it. And then the entire sensor kind of just pulls out like this. So we can reinstall this over here into the new air box. And we should be all set as long as those bolts line up. I think I'm gonna need a swivel. Yeah, I'm gonna need a swivel or just do it by hand. Replug in the map, or I meant to say the math. Oh my God. And now we're all set with that install. So now we just need to throw on the filter start the car and see if it goes oop, oop. it probably won't it's wishful thinking this is more for the power gain and then i'm honestly gonna have to do an aftermarket throttle body so if you guys own a six gen camaro with a supercharged setup let me know if i should get the 103 millimeter or the 112 whipple says you can fit up to 112 on here so i might have to get the biggest throttle body possible and make the most power possible i can throw my mega filter back on here and make all the power so it should slide back on i'll clamp it down and this intake is pretty much all done and ready to go. All right, that intake is on. You can see the difference in size. So you have a tiny little filter in here. I showed it in a previous video. You can kind of see it in there. It is only as big as the box. Now we have a huge box and a huge filter. So let's start this thing. Let's see if it'll, mm, after it warms up, of course. So what's crazy is that it's actually boost weather right now in Florida. This car would be like a little bit faster and you can tell by the condensation. So we never see condensation out of the exhaust in Florida because it's always hot. And the one time that it's boost weather in this state, guess what? I don't have an alternator, so I can't go rip this thing and go run my record 60 to 130, but I should have that fixed pretty soon. did a test red to see if this thing would whine. Devin says it whines like a video game Hellcat. I don't believe him. So only 2,000. What? Yeah. What? It whines now. Only 2,000. Oh my God. It whines like a freaking video game Hellcat now. <laughs> it's crazy. Do this guys. That was like 2,000 RPM, right? Yep. That is insane. It freaking whines so much now. Yeah. But you all know what that means. We got to get this thing with a new alternator in so that I can do some pulls and you guys can hear the full swing. Yeah. Got to get the drive-by clip. Yeah, we do. Get that would be so nasty. But I don't even know when that new alternator is coming because I ordered one from GPI. And basically, they told me that it's back-ordered right now. So maybe I'll have to find one in store or go on Facebook and find one. But that's pretty much going to do it for this video. On the cold air intake, we successfully made the Gen 5 Whipple Supercharger wine. So now you guys know how to do it because that's a lot or that's a huge question that people always have. How do you make these Whipple superchargers, especially the newer ones, whine? Because they don't whine on the factory airbox, they don't whine on the supplied airbox. 
and a lot of people want to hear it. On that note, though, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.